Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch our episodes on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to catch our ugly mugs on Wednesdays and Fridays, we are on YouTube, One Word, Tabletop Topics. We also have our Triple T's Clips channel and our TikTok channel. So if you want to click um, on the little clips, it'll send you right to the link you can watch our full podcast and of course we have timestamps so that'll be easier for you guys to navigate through our page don't forget to subscribe like and ring the notification bell and of course leave us comments if you want to suggest anything that you want to hear us talk about or maybe mention on the show um but as always thank you guys for joining us what's going on jeff um another night another day another nickel Another day, another nickel. <laughs> that was crazy. SpongeBob. <laughs> was that when he was? No, 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 no. I thought that was when he was doing stand up. No, that wasn't when he was doing stand up. No, 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 no. But uh, anyway, uh, today was uh, today was Tuesday, right? Today's Tuesday, the beginning. The beginning. The beginning. The beginning of your days off, of course. Oh, I thought you else? meant. <laughs> The AI wars. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we'll definitely talk about. I that. went down that rabbit hole today. Yeah, we'll talk that about was that, that was fun. But I'd like to I'd like to make a shout out to our boy Vic because we hired him as a. Yeah, shout out Vic, bro. Yeah, shout out Vic, yeah, bro. So the recent real the one, recent man. uploads on our Instagram on our social pages has been. Because He's of our him. clips editor yep. and all that. Yep, That's we fire. hired him as our clips editor, and it's way easier now so all it takes do, a load off of it us. does it does absolutely. it really does absolutely. um so he'll he'll kind of create the clips put them together and after that we'll upload them but uh shout out to him i know he wants to come back on the episode on the show very soon but um we really appreciate you Vic, for actually helping us out because again it takes a load off, mm-hmm. off of us and it's easier to just for sure the more help the easier it is man yes, sir. <laughs> so yes, sir. but no, it, just, like even when he like even when we, because we were talking about, you know, hiring, like, prior to this, and it was just like, like, I I knew the expectation was high. Yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had high expectations mm-hmm. from him, and I knew he was going to come through, but that first clip he sent us, I was oh, like, yeah. oh, man. Yeah, what did we get, like, 2,000 views on it? That was awesome. Yeah, that was that amazing. Was awesome. So, based off of that, uh, off our TikTok uh, page, we got 2,000 views, 900 and something likes off of the clips, and, and, and it just went from there, so we kind of just started uploading a lot more. Um, of that but no like like we said again appreciate you for helping us out man uh, it really does take a yes, lot and we gotta shout you out we're not gonna pretend yes, we do sir. all of it by ourselves man Never. beginning yes Never. I would say that Never. but now I Worth mean it's getting easier and easier man. like you said the more people you got on your click the easier it is and of course David that shout out to David also the one that created the the, the beginning title for us so that mm-hmm. also helped us out too so it wasn't was just awesome. it wasn't yeah. just a blank screen of 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 it saying tabletop topics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that hey, you gotta start somewhere, man. Yeah, for sure. You gotta man. start somewhere. For sure but, not. but of course, like awesome. I said, we got shout out David also too. But no, Vic, thank you very much. And of course, we're gonna be working with him in the future for more clips and of course shorts on our channels and for our sure. YouTube. So, but uh, just wanted to get that out of the way before we get into the AI wars. The AI wars. And it's within the Empire. <laughs> Unstoppable. No one can beat us. Leading the cause. Everyone will see. Lambda. Google. Including China. <laughs> Yo, a Chinese balloon. That's crazy, yeah, bro. Yeah. Well, uh, it was funny because uh, Mr. B- Mr. Brandon. Word. Mr. Brandon's like, yeah, as soon as I got word from my central intelligence, I shot a rocket. He was taking his osseo by flex yep. in the morning. <laughs> he was, no, he was taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> After the balloon was shot down, they debriefed him. That That's man was crazy. sleeping. Dude, do you know how big that balloon was? Yeah, no. Well, how, about, how big was it? What did they say? 200 something feet? Yeah, like the size of the. It was, a, it was taller than the Statue of, of Liberty. Liberty. Yeah. It's a big ass balloon, dude. That's a big ass balloon. I can see why China got mad. Because <laughs> that's a big that's our big ass that's balloon. That's a big ass balloon. Yeah. That's crazy. So what do you what what kind of information do you think they got before they shot it down? That's crazy. Wireless receiver. Man, I don't know what they were. Come on, dude. You I'm know. pretty sure our our airspace, like we know what's in our airspace. Of course. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure like we keep things on the ground guarded yeah. to a degree where it's not detectable from space. Mm-hmm. 
You see what I'm saying? If you can't detect it from space, you're not going to see it on a freaking... Oh, of course, man. Blah, blah, yeah. you know? So, but, like, it's kind of funny, though, because because we shot it down, now they're pissed. Now... Why? And it's like... No. They're collecting atmospheric... Uh, data. Atmospheric data. They're doing weather. Yes. It sells from a private company. Come oh, yeah. on, bro. We're trying to study... All companies in China are owned by the government. We're what are you talking about? We're trying to study the empire's weather. Stop what are you talking it. about? <laughs> See how they survive so many destructive <laughs> outcomes. <laughs> Let me stop. That's uh, crazy. Man. Like, I think this past weekend, it's just within, what, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know, it's just been, like, pretty crazy. You got mm. the earthquake in Turkey. Yeah, man. That was my condolences nuts, goes out to them dude, man because it's like you can't me. the earth is moving where, where can you that's just besides staying away from right. the buildings i mean right. where can you go right you know what I'm you saying? see yeah. a natural you see a tidal wave coming you run away from it you see lava coming you run away from it jeff um, if you see a tidal wave and you're running it's too late <laughs> <laughs> it's too late uh, what man. i see a, i see a tidal wave <laughs> Okay. Well, guess we don't. Yeah, That's it's it. like uh, San Andreas. That's the last thing you see. When the tsunami was coming, on in the San Andreas with Dwayne Johnson, when the tsunami was coming, the old couple looked at it and just hugged each other because they're like, Yeah. What? We died anyway. Yeah, what are you doing? I mean, we lived Where our you lives. Going? We lived our lives, so. Where are you going? Bro. Get out of here, man. Can't really go anywhere with that, so. Get out of here, man. But but that's crazy, dude. Like There was two or one man. balloon. I thought they said there was two. Well, Okay. I'm going to leave the whole political bullshit out. Yeah, of course. But, of like, course. prior to this, there were three other spottings of Chinese balloons. balloons. And no action was taken. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Until this administration came in. So, is it like a three-strike rule type thing? I don't even know. Um, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Yeah. I couldn't tell you. I wouldn't know how they would handle a situation like, like that. that. I don't think it's like a full escalation type. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we're not going to a war because you shot a balloon down. No, you know they wouldn't saying? even. Yeah, they wouldn't even instigate that because we shot a balloon. Exactly. Down. Like, you know World War Three literally started because we shot a balloon. Think about it. That's dumb. Why did this war start? Cause because we shot, we shot a shot balloon. balloon. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, that's shit. crazy. Nah, I think that's going to happen, man. That's crazy. But, but what were you talking All right, so moving on from the whole uh, Chinese balloon thing, which mm-hmm. was... It was funny because Joe Brandon was like, yeah, man. Boy, they was gassing that shit up. They like, were gassing he that just shit saved up, yeah. the country. Like, bro. remember, we they literally did a whole news episode on bro, the height. Bro, we're talking about the height dissecting of the, balloon. the fuck out of yeah. this balloon. Like, this balloon was I'm like, like this 100,000 feet up, which is why our satellites were able to pinpoint the location and blah, blah, blah. It was, it was just funny. But, bro, just say it's a spy balloon and keep it pushing. Exactly. Bro. But um, I know that uh, Google's coming out with a conference, which is very early because they usually do it over the summer. Tomorrow's mic no tomorrow's Microsoft no, or tomorrow's today's Google. No, today was Microsoft. Today was Microsoft. So tomorrow's Google. So tomorrow Google's revealing an AI that they have been work secretly working on because they didn't tell anybody about Bard. it. Bard. Project Bard. Yeah, Project Bard. They haven't revealed the official name, but it's to compete with Microsoft because Google is ninety percent of the search base. Um ten mm. percent is of course Bing, which nobody says I'm going to Bing it. <laughs> it sounds so weird it sounds so weird so it's like like you were saying certain questions that you'll ask google like you'll say hey google like it doesn't understand like full context and sentence structures yeah so like give you the you have to ask short form questions exactly you know what i'm saying like you can't describe a concept to it and then it'll give you the answer it's while like, understanding that concept it's like amazon's alexa when you ask a specific question it says i do not understand yeah it doesn't understand so question. once they apply ai to it it will be able to fully right have a conversation with you which right. is gonna be crazy Ugh, the ai wars baby the ai war so google and microsoft are gonna are going up against each other uh, and we're going to see in tomorrow's uh, Google press conference. Uh, I'm pretty sure Google on some, like... Because, you know, Microsoft probably thinks they have, like, oh, yeah, we got this. On we top got, of that, Google owns a got, quantum computer. Right, that's what I'm saying. Chat GPT and all this bullshit. But, like, Google has so many... It's it, Like, Alphabet is the parent company of so many, like, things. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So many, you know... Uh, 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 
engineering uh, uh, companies and AI companies. Aren't and they also back, backed up by the Economic World Forum too? Or was that something no. else that we were watching? No, nah, that was presented by the Economic mm. World Forum, but um, they they just kind of did an interview with an employee <laughs> on how to um, describe like uh, uh, programming tasks mm -hmm. into an AI or a, a conscious AI, where it's like in the beginning, um, even asking it a simple question as Guy, "Go get me coffee," "Go get me coffee," or a specific coffee. You know, what are the parameters? <laughs> Uh, or the bounds of the actions I should take to obtain this coffee. Like, if I go to the store and there's no coffee, do you want me to go and farm and make coffee? Do you want me to rob? A destroy humanity. You want me to destroy a store for coffee? Because all it understands is yes and no. Right. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> like, when you ask a human for coffee, they know, you know... Within the parameters. Within the, I'm not going to go out and shoot people for a cup, of a cup of coffee just to get you a cup. I'm not going on a high-speed chase just to give you a cup of coffee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not also going to ask you, you know, like, where do you want me to get this coffee? Or how do you want it to be, you know, like, how fast do you want me to drive over there? Mm -hmm. You know, what's the price range of the coffee you want me to get? Like, you just, you just know. Yeah. If I say go to Walmart, give me some Folgers. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go to Walmart and just get some folders. Get some folders. You yeah. know, of course, you'll add some extra details in it, but you can uh, uh, infer, you know, what you need to do, what needs to be done within the bounds of, you know, human safety, logic and reasoning, mm -hmm. and, you know, like, completing the task. Yeah. Like, you're not going to go to the extremes to, go, to complete the task. If I send you down the street to get a cup of coffee and... They don't have coffee. I'm not going to make you drive 30 miles to get coffee. But the robot will drive. But the robot may just be like, oh, okay, well, there's no coffee here. I'm going to drive 30 because miles. Because it wants to complete its objective. Right, because it wants to complete its objective. Within its parameters. Right. Yeah, exactly. So it, whatever whatever order you give it, that's what it's going to exactly try to do. And it's going to go. It's like uh, the movie Megan that I was watching. The movie Megan, uh, the girl paired with uh, the robot. Uh, the the four foot robot and then basically the parameters were set where it says um, protect Megan at all costs and Megan it took it literally it took it literally so anybody that would push or hurt the Megan. little girl Megan would kill them would kill them even the dog the dog accidentally bit the dog accidentally because she, she um mm -hmm. she's like Megan, do you see the the bow and arrow that the arrow that I shot? So Megan analyzed the entire yard, found the arrow at the old woman's house across the yard. She has a hole in her fence where the dog keeps slipping through. So Megan puts her hand in the in the fence to grab the arrow. The dog starts attacking Megan, and that's when the little girl screams, freaks out, runs and tries to help Megan, and the dog ends up biting her. Mm. I swear to God, that night Megan woke up and <laughs> and buried that dog. She's like, oh, you'll find oh, them in the, crazy. you'll find them in, in, in the park six feet that's under. Crazy. I'm like, damn. That's crazy. You know, so it's just, it's so just it, it, like the, so yeah. it takes it to the extreme. Right. Unless, it, yeah, unless, okay. like you said, it can evolve. It takes it to the extreme. Yeah. So, of course, you know, the number one thing they should focus in this transition into AI is ethics. Ethics should be at the forefront. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we already seen them developing it for military use yep. you know we've already seen it developed for policing mm -hmm. and stuff like that and it just comes down to oh the robot dogs that's crazy that's crazy boy they put an AK on that bit mm -hmm. they put an M16 on that hole. well that was that was crazy that's too cause crazy. um like um the iRobot Roomba I didn't know that they were coming out with a lawnmower right with a huge battery that can that can survey your entire yard. It'll it's, map your it'll yard. It'll map your entire yard. It's waterproof and it lasts for hours. Not, not, um, not um, ten, not a ten, fifteen, twenty minutes like the the vacuum room. Right. Because as soon as it gets low on batteries, it starts to dock itself. Right. This one lasts hours. And that's the thing about like iRobot. iRobot is more like consumer robotics. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, even when this thing comes out, you're not gonna be paying twelve hundred for a lawnmower. Yeah, that's true. It's it literally will be cheaper than a lawnmower. Right. So that's what I'm saying because the even the electric lawnmower that I have, I paid a thousand dollars for it. You see what I'm saying? So 
And that shit, what? <laughs> and, and it doesn't even last that long because it's made for small yards, so it all depends. And then this yeah, one, them little corner lots. You gotta be in a gated community, bro. Basically, if yeah. you want to use that. Basically, yes. So I have three battery extenders, of course, but of course they those are consumed very fast because the higher the grass, the more battery you eat. So mm, that's fair. but so that's why I want to kind of see um, how this Roomba iRobot uh, lawnmower works. So. But no, that's no. interesting yeah that, is, gonna be that interesting. is interesting so yeah so ai wars kicking off and um, it's only february it's only february that's the crazy thing oh i'm gonna love this that's year. the crazy thing it's crazy because the pandemic pushed everything forward fast forward everything I fast forward everything that we we're ever gonna do so i know this is kind of old but i know have you, by now you've probably seen or probably not i'm not gonna assume for you mm-hmm. but have you seen the the all automated McDonald's, yeah, or Taco Bell. Was it was it a McDonald's or it's Taco McDonald's. Bell? It was McDonald's. Right? Remember, I told you about. It. They're starting to come out with the Taco Bell one. Mm-hmm. All automated. Bro. And now even not, I think it's Wendy's. Really? No. The, it, now they have a computer that takes your order, and all the that there's still people in the, there's still people in the, mm-hmm. the place that'll put it together, but basically the computer will take your order. On the on the screen, screen instead of a person, and then they will just make your order. Mm. So now, are we going to are we going to have to say the name of the meal, or do we just say a number eight? Like we just have to say like, oh no, you can say the number. Like I want a Dave's single. No, no, you can say or the number. Can I have a number two. So so the, a perfect example. The guy pulled up and he started recording because he knew that this was different. <laughs> He's like, can I have a number three? She's like, would you like a medium? The, she, the computer's like, would you like a medium or large? It sounded like the chick from TikTok. Um, and then he's like, I would like a large. And he's like, what would you like? She, the, the computer's like, what would you like to drink? He's like, a Coke. Would you like that small, medium, or large? Uh, he's like, can I have a large Coke with no ice? And then it repeated everything that he ordered. Mm. And then it's like, if this is your purchase, um, is it, uh, she's like, would that be all? Um, it's uh, he said yes, and then move forward. And keep it so they already they already figured out that so people no longer have to communicate. So all they have to do is just prepare the food. But again, too, like you said, they're heading towards the autonomous route mm-hmm. where there is no nobody in there, which was just funny to me when they're showing the robots working side by side with people. I'm like, no bullshit. They're oh, replace in the, you in the in the fake uh, presentation. Yeah, the the they 3D models. You, yeah, the three D models. They're like, like yeah, they can work side by side with humans bullshit. and even mimic their movements. No, okay. they're gonna be okay. like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> mimics their movements and work side by side. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy, man. Mm-mm. Rule still stands. Yeah, and then we watched another one where it was like. Um, that drone, the drone with the tracking that's connected to whatever hub. Yeah, I was conne- tracking the hiker. Yeah, it's connected to your your heart, mon- your heart, your high blood pressure. Your your we'll call the doctor because your elevated levels are going up. So stop walking because we want to see if you're okay or not. So basically, it can detect something an anomaly in your body saying, before it happens. So let's say doctor. you're about to have a stroke or anything like that. It'll It'll actually help you out before, and if it has to call nine one one before it occurs, it will right. it will do that. Right. Hoo wee. But no, it's everything's just being fast tracked. Like I said, ever since the pandemic, everything's just been pushed forward exponentially. So it's like things that we, like I was telling you, that we would see in twenty thirty five to twenty fifty, is happening now. When did that robot take place? Uh, twenty uh two twenty thirty five. And the movie came out two thousand four. Yep. So that means, and he was what, thirty? Yeah. Well, yeah, he had a little bit gray hair. It's probably in mid thirties. So he was born two thousand five. Yeah. You say he was born because he like Converse and all that right. stuff like he that. He was wearing the Zoomer shit. Yeah. <laughs> I guess in those in in two thousand five, I guess that's what they thought Zoomers were gonna be wearing. In those. But, uh, yeah, man. Like I've even heard, you know, people saying that like, oh yeah, I went to see family and you know we're trying to figure something out or you know work a problem out and then his four-year-old or five-year-old nephew is just like why don't we just use chad gpt and he looks at him and his like 
my heart broke. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? We're already going that route. <laughs> what are you doing? Because it's got all the answers. <laughs> well, not all the answers, but most of the That's answers. That's crazy. And his yeah. heart broke. He just said, damn. Hey, man, easy way out. Damn, liberation. You will do nothing. People are afraid of freedom. Well, but I don't know. When there's nothing for you to do, are you really free? No. If you don't control anything, what, what, you know what I'm saying? They could really hold a lot against you. Yeah, that's true. Because you're not doing anything. Mm -hmm. I agree. You are essentially non-essential. Yep, exactly. And uh, like I always say, we as human beings, we're born to work. So mm -hmm. it's like when we stop working, what is we? So certain people will be like, "What is my purpose?" To pass the butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh man, shit, that's too much. Bro. That's tough. He's like, that's "What tough. is my purpose?" <laughs> you pass the butter. You pass the butter. Oh my god! Fucking rip. You oh, what? Man. <laughs> yeah. like, oh my god! Oh man, how do you think that show's gonna spin out, bro? Well, like they said, it's still gonna go with with or without him. Dan Harmon, right? Yep. He played. But it was him and someone else that co-wrote the show together. Yeah, right? yeah, it was him. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah, and they actually took turns writing episodes. Yes. So, a lot of the idea. I uh, well, I, I guess we'll just get one half of the idea. Yeah. If you guys don't know, we're talking. We're talking about Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Yeah. Was the the other dude did something weird. What do you do again? So talk about some fourteen year old. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Yeah. yeah. So we'll just we'll just we'll just say it with that and then big creep. Yeah. So mega trial, whatever. And then they said if it goes if it goes through, then they're gonna they, they again two Carson Network said they're gonna move on. Adult Swim said they're gonna move on with or without him because there's so many people that can mimic his voice. On top of that, we are AI. Yes. Yeah, stop that, playing. That's what I was about stop to say. Stop playing. We had future because boys. Even, even um, Elon Musk demonstrated during his, mm -hmm. uh, he's like, see, I can sound like Rick and Morty. You, you yell, wubba dubba dub dub. Wubba dubba dub dub. All yeah. that. Yeah. yeah that's there what you I'm go. So, you are essentially non essential. Exactly. So <laughs> voice actors are going to be losing their jobs. So <laughs> essentially, you can be whoever you want. Who do you think is going to be the first to lose their job? The average worker or Hollywood? I'd say the average worker. The average worker. Yeah, I'd say the average worker because animation, because that it, is an average worker. Yeah, job. because right because um, CGI is already expensive and you need actors and stunt doubles and all that stuff. For do you really? Like that. Yeah, you, you do. literally have stunt double robots doing Spider-Man acrobats, and that was just the beginning. Do you really? Well, you don't need stunt doubles, but you still need the actors. Do you really? <laughs> Do you really? To be or not to be. All right, for real, for real. That is the question. Like, I know we see, like, the bullshit deep fakes, but I'm pretty sure there's some more advanced, like... Yeah, but there's still people with just the deep fake faces. That's it. It's not computer. Yeah, but... They just use computer technology, but there's still But here's people. the thing about Hollywood. Once you sign whatever contract, once you sell your soul, they own your likeness. Why do you uh, think Stan course. Lee's still in movies? Well, of course. Then that's what they said with the with the AI. Yeah. Why do you think on they're TikTok? Yeah. They said once you sign, everybody that signs up for the AI on TikTok, they they don't read the fine clause. They yeah. just they just sign up for it. But they're like, we own your image now. We own your image. That's why come I likeness. haven't done it. Yeah. <laughs> they own your likeness. Yeah, they own stuff. your likeness, that's so they can use it for whatever good, they want to. Bro. So essentially, everybody that's signed up for the whole AI thing that just scroll to the through the terms. And, and regulations that didn't care about reading it, it literally says there, we own your image now. Ooh. Sorry to be the bear of bad news, guys. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. Your face is going to be on a butler robot. Exactly. That's tough. That's exactly. some, that's some like, uh, like, uh, yeah. what if you saw that? You saw an Android that had your fucking face. Damn. Uh, oh, that's crazy. That's crazy, it's, bro. It's, oh, your name is Ashley Thompson? Uh, Yeah, right here. You signed here five years ago saying we can use your face for anything. Yeah, you should have read the fine print. Thank you. <laughs> the Eula. The Eula. The Eula. The Eula. Yep. You should have read that Eula, sir. Yep. That's crazy, man. But yeah, like, even in, in that case, I guess, you know, you're right. You still need actors, but... yeah. I really don't think actors own their image. You know what I'm saying? No, they don't. And yeah. and and the and the perfect example is Futurama. In Futurama, it was just robots that were acting, not even people anymore. 
So I understand the direction. I understand what you're saying in the direction that they're going. But as of right now, I mean, yeah, it's not happening. Yeah, it's, it's not going to happen anytime soon. No. Um, you're going to see a lot more strikes and stuff like that. Um, of course, you see a lot of the the firings because it's like yeah, we see these we see this tech coming out. We don't have to reinvest in you. We'll just invest in this tech. Mm-hmm. And exactly, it's, and it's a one time fee. Oh, yeah, exactly. It's cheap too. One time, it, it's fee. not. It's not. I have to pay you. 30 million or 50 million just right. so you can play this role no payroll no insurance exactly. no bathroom breaks exactly you can just keep going which is why they said um, with the whole truck driver with autonomous driving like most of them are going to lose their jobs mm-hmm. pretty soon only because a truck can keep going all night where right. a, a driver can only do 14 hours right. by law they by can law. only drive 14 hours some will go beyond that mm-hmm. which will uh, which will mm-hmm. give them a ticket but other than that it's 14 hours that's facts so but um, yeah if they can make it convenient and easy they're going to do it unfortunately that's it sucks to hear but that's the reality of it that's literally the direction that every company that's trying to save and make more money is going. That's so, crazy. I know. I don't know. Well, how are you gonna like? I'm still not understanding. How are you gonna make money? I don't know. You're in a consumer economy. I don't understand. Like, if you get rid of people's ability to make money, how do you make money? And no one has yet to answer that. Like, without saying. UBI. That's what I was about to say. Like, is, without is saying be, UBI... Is it going to be that? Right. That's the question. Without saying UBI, what the fuck do you do? Like, tell the average man, the average worker, mm-hmm. what are they supposed to do? Yeah. You're going to fire me, replace me with a bot, but for you to generate income, I must buy your product mm-hmm. with money I don't have because I don't have a job. What, what you just going to create a market for the elite who have, what, old money? And what happens when their money runs out? Unless they transition into to new money. How? Is it just going to be an investment-based economy? I like, I don't... I'm, 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 I'm confused. Like, well, I remember we were talking earlier about the whole Star Trek, right, where nobody pays for anything. Everything. Will it be based on human capital? You know, trades goods. like interest, human interest. Are like, they, are they gonna go based off of like they did back in the day? They trade spices, cattle, all that stuff like that. Is that gonna be the new currency again? How we need to trade spices and cattle when they're gonna be grown in labs? That's true. You gotta understand everything. It's top down, sir. Everything, even to this bottle of water I'm drinking, it's top down. I know it's hard to assume. So, like, yeah. oh no, how is that gonna affect window washing? All right, bet. Oh, you know how easy that's going to be? Bruh. What the fuck? When the Windex 9000 come out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. And come on, bro. Something as basic as a lawnmower now, bro. Yeah. Come now on, they're like man. You, now they're like you can save time. And... Dude, landscaping is big out here. Mm-hmm. Unless the landscaper decides, I'm going to fire all my workers and just buy, buy a fleet of robots. And they can do the line, the cut. And then I'll deploy them at like five houses. They do their job, and then we sweep and come pick them up. And then he gets all the money. Right. Yeah. Or he'll have a smaller team. We'll have to let go more. You gotta understand, bro. It's everything, man. So like to to try to sleepwalk through this shit, and yeah. then just try to continue and just be like, well, you know, it hasn't hurt me yet. You can't. You gotta be aware. You gotta be aware. You gotta be aware. I'm not saying you gotta do something now, or you can do something now. Just be aware. Yeah, be aware. You Stay know? with the times. Understand what. Yeah. <clears throat> what Plan ahead. Are. See what's see what's say, around the corner. I would say this: Stay with the time. Understand what changes are coming, and stay with it because right. the biggest issue is a lot of people don't care what's going on around them until it affects them. That's the biggest issue. So it's happening. And by the time it affects them, they're ignorant to the situation. So the right. only thing they can express is anger. Yeah. So anger with no probable solution. Exactly. They're like, why are you doing this? Why aren't you telling anybody? Why don't you do this? Why don't you? And it's like, we did. You just weren't paying attention. You just weren't paying because you didn't give a fuck. Like the tech sector is happening right now. Right. Everything, everything that's, that's going to make uh, the world convenient and easier right. is happening right now. Right but now. It, who's paying attention but to it? But they're not. 
They're not. They're doing exactly. it under your noses. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Y'all get because, finessed. Because they're either saying, I don't want to learn about this, or this is not important or it's affecting important, me in my or life. I don't care enough. Yeah. Or da, da, da. It's like, bro, I'm not telling you fucking get a PhD in, you know, cybersecurity or yeah. some shit like that, or programming. Like, no. Or full stack development. No, that's not what we're asking you. Mm-hmm. Just fucking know what the hell's coming for your job. Exactly. Bro. But like, don't don't react. Don't be a reactionary. Yeah, don't yeah. be a reactionary. Don't react to it. Yeah. You know, just understand how it's coming and how you could incorporate it and, and, and stay afloat yeah. in your life in the future, you know. If you know you're in a in a labor market, like a, a labor intensive market mm-hmm. and you understand these technologies are coming out to, you know, ease that labor demand and make shit efficient. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Like, and you know you're in that uh, workforce, understand what's coming for it. Yeah, so you can at least prepare. Right. You understand what, what you can do or what you can understand do. what you can prepare for right. before it just blindsides you and then all you're doing is protesting. We're being replaced by robots. Okay, what is that going to do for What's you? that going to do? What are they going to do, go back in time? No. They're like, just going to cancel. Yeah, we spent $8 trillion building all this tech and AI and robots. Yeah, because you lost your job. <laughs> We're shutting it down. Yeah. Nah, nah. bro. Get out of here. They don't man. care because it's gonna make them money. They don't care money. about you, bro. <clears throat> they don't care about you, bro. Come on, man. If because the biggest issue is they're having issues. Two things. They're they're. It's hard for to find people who want to work. Right. No one wants to there's, work. There's a shortage. Gen Z and 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 younger. Yeah. Or or uh, uh late millennials and uh Gen Z and younger, like there's nothing to gain from the market. For for them them yeah investing's not getting them anything mm-hmm. working's not getting them anything yep. besides paying bills yeah you see what i'm saying and they're more debt than they are they're now more debt them. no one has enough money for an emergency no one has more than ten thousand dollars saved in the bank mm-hmm. yes if you do you are the exception not, not the, the rule. rule yeah it's not your world you're not the main character yeah you just need to empathize and understand not everyone has the certain situations and and opportunities as you do not everyone is uh, uh given the same uh, 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 outcomes is you. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? But just understand that. What was I going with this? Uh, Gen Z doesn't want to work. Yeah, Gen Z mm-hmm. does not want to work because uh, they're they're giving up because yeah. they understand that they cannot control right. the, the right the, the where where the direction that this right. economy food's is going up. Yeah, rent's going up. Everything's exactly. going up. So, so what do you want them to do? Exactly. So they don't they don't care. Some of them don't even care if they're. Uh, in debt or default on their mm-hmm. debt. That's how much they don't care because it's like... This... I'll be honest with you, they're just waiting for the market to crash. Exactly. And then, and and we're heading towards that. Mm-hmm. We're heading they just want that. everything to go to shit and it's like, all right, now we're at, a, at an even playing field. Yeah. Let's when the do mar- this again. When the market crashes, that's when you're going to see a, a, a flux you of... You see a job booms, education yeah. booms, stuff like that, yeah. investment booms, mm-hmm. stuff like that's that. That's when you're going to see a flux of uh, millennials and uh, um, young it's, millennials and Gen Z just start buying houses. That's what you like call that. the great transfer of wealth, sir. Yep. yep. And it's coming soon. Mm-hmm. I know it's coming soon. The great transfer of wealth. Yeah. I know it's coming soon. And, and, and we're not talking about old money type pass it down generational type no, shit nah because no. even old money gonna lose their money new money's coming <laughs> old money's gonna lose their money i'll yeah. tell you that new money's coming i'll in. tell you that so essentially that's what it is it's sad to say it like that but they they don't they they just want to give up because there's no point in doing anything because it's it's, it's not in their favor it's no. if the odds are stacked against no. them so again they're just waiting for that's why a lot of them are depressed yeah so again they're just waiting for like a 2008 crash once that happens then they'll come in oh no it's gonna be worse oh no but what i'm saying is once that happens that's when they'll come in Mm -hmm. and then after that the economy will boom again it's like like you said it's like a reset that's what has to happen that's how come every like uh, all the gen x benefited from the market crash in 2008 bought all these homes for like fifty thousand yeah. dollars or less and now they have multiple streams of income yeah. and they're, they're 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 successful right now now this has to happen for them yes it's going to be worse but the economy will eventually get back on that's its feet facts. that's facts that's facts that's facts so yeah man that's a lot it's a lot to consume man it, but it, i mean it, again too you just have to be aware that's it just just know what's coming and prepare yourself for right. it. That, you know, that's like it. you don't have to find out what it's doing for everyone. Mm-hmm. Just be like, 
okay, hey, I'm a bagger, I'm a truck driver, mm -hmm. I Uber. Mm -hmm. How is AI going to change my job sector? Mm -hmm. Simple Google. Yeah. Simple Google. Exactly. How is AI, I work on farms, how is AI going to yeah. improve or, or hurt my hurt your sector? My sector. And there's there's pros and cons to everything. Right. With Uber, they didn't make them employees. Why? Because they're going autonomous Because they're going autonomous car. Right. Why am I going to hire you when in like half a decade, the car we won't even itself. need you? Yeah, the car can drive itself. Yeah. So, Why am I going to give you insurance when the car can drive, drive itself? itself? Exactly. The same thing with truck driving. Why am I going to hire a truck driver that can only work 14 hours a day right. when they can drive 24-7? And I'm getting profits from the companies mm -hmm. for using for using, for using, using mm -hmm. just that autonomous vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, and all we saving have to, hella yeah, money. Saving right. hella money, and all we got to do is unload it. With uh, um, farming, they're going to be coming out with machines that will pick the crops. Instead of using a guy to, to run the machine through, mm -hmm. it'll automatically do it. Spray the fields. So instead self -drive of self-drive tractors. Yeah, self-drive tractors. Like that, instead yeah. of spraying the field. Uh, through airplanes, it'll all drones. Yep, that's it. You know, you can it's just so again, like you said, it's just a simple Google you. search to okay. find out how this can affect you and how you can men uh, mentally and physically prepare yourself for what is to come. Because again, not everybody is safe, and people always say it ain't affecting me. It won't touch my sector, that's and tough. then tomorrow comes and that's you find tough. out it's affecting your sector. So that's just tough. be prepared for it. Uh, exactly. That's dope. Exactly. I just give you a hug and be like, hey. We told you. Sorry. No, I'm not going to say I told you so. <laughs> like, hey. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I can't Don't worry. You. Pick yourself up by your bootstraps. Mm -hmm. Figure it out. <laughs> Figure it out, baby. Because you'd have told that to anybody else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You'd have told that to anybody especially, else, bro. Especially if you're successful in what you're yeah. doing. Yeah. If you're successful in what you're doing, you get blindsided by some shit, pick yourself up by your bootstraps, bootstraps baby. Yeah. Yes, sir. Everyone going to have to come up again. It's going to be a free-for-all, though. It is. It is, and we'll see what happens then. It's going to be a free-for-all, because it's like the idea of work is going to completely change what our job's going to be. Mm -hmm. Like, it's going to be a complete switch up of what constitute as a Mindsets, job. Mindsets, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like... What what is labor going to be considered? Mm -hmm. You know, especially um, if uh, autonomous and machines are going to be doing most right, of the labor work. Right. So it's like where where do we go as human beings? Because yeah. again, we been working for millennia. I feel like business owners will just essentially be operators. Gotcha. You know, um, so whatever. Like you own a business that does this, you'll have like three or four employees, maybe five, mm -hmm. or like a small team of ten, mm -hmm. max. You know what I'm saying? Running all operations. And they're all like tech guys. Gotcha. Gotcha. And they're all going to be tech guys. You see what I'm saying? And or essentially whatever you have in your like store or anything right. that will be run by the robots. All right. They're all tech guys. Because not everyone... Okay. It's the whole idea. You can't teach old dog new tricks. Mm -hmm. Like after a certain amount of time, you've already lived a, to a certain point in your life. Yeah. This is what you know. This is your reality. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For me to come here and say, yeah, none of everything you learned, your work structure, nine to five, work balance, retire, that means absolutely squat. No. Nothing. Nothing. You got to start over and you're, you're 55. Damn. Suicide. <laughs> Essentially. Uh, Do you really want to no. start all over at 55? That's crazy. Exactly. Hell no. You bust That's your crazy. ass your entire life yeah. to start over at 55. Yeah. Nope. You better give me that young cream. Pause. As fuck. <laughs> As fuck, bro. Hard pause. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It'd be like that. Vic is going to clip this. <laughs> oh, no, it bro. Did not. This forever. Uh, Sorry, the sir. internet's forever. Sorry, clipped and shipped. Clipped baby. and shipped. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, another thing I was looking at is you know how in the the concept <laughs> film I Robot when they were talking about the autonomous driving vehicles, right. where you have the option of bringing out the wheel Manual. or not. Yeah, yeah. The new Audi, uh, the the twenty twenty. It was the e-tron at the time. It was the concept of the Audi yeah. e-tron. Now they did e-tron bikes. But right now they have Etron bikes, mm -hmm. but at the time that was the concept of what was to be the Audi Etron. Uh, the Audi Etron. Right. What are they? What, what's the new one now? 
I know? I don't have my phone, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. Mm. But um, I would use your phone instead of there. Cause Work, oh yeah, I'd be tweaking sometimes. Yeah. But um, no man. Uh, so basically, you wear these Audi glasses. The AR the, the glasses. The, yeah, the the yeah the AR VR glasses, and on top, uh, essentially, it brings up this holographic screen in front of you. There's no wheel in the car; it automatically opens, um, and it literally will drive you to your destination. You can set up appointments, all that stuff like that. Because um, you remember, you've been always talking about this for years. You said essentially. Is to go the wheelless route. You step in the car and there's no. And wheel. it's nothing. It, that, that's why they don't call them electric cars. They, they call, call them EVs, EVs, electric vehicles. Yes. Because the point is for it to not be a car. It's yeah. just a mode of transportation, exactly. an electric mode of transportation. So fuck the wheel, fuck the transmission, yeah. fuck all that. Forget throw all the ideas of uh, a regular car out the window, mm -hmm. and it's just like. It's a pod, mm -hmm. an electric pod with four wheels that takes you places. Exactly, and essentially, and the crazy thing is, what a lot of people. It's called the. Sorry to interrupt. No, you're good. It's called the Audi Active Sphere. Yeah. Okay. So what a lot of people don't understand mm -hmm. too is, once AI is put into the picture, if all EVs are driven by AI, you know how many people would make it to their destination all the time? There'd be no accidents. There'd be nothing because humans. Humans um, essentially create errors, right? So if one like perfect example, if a if a car five if a if a vehicle five cars ahead of you, there would never the, be traffic jams. Exactly. Well, I'm saying if a five if a car five cars ahead of you um, hits the brake, what's going to happen? A reaction. A reaction. Chain reaction. Chain right. reaction because that's human reaction. Uh -huh. We're reacting to whatever is happening uh -huh. in front of us. But if AI controls that, no one would ever be late. You'd always have managing safe traveling distance speed mm -hmm. da 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 mm -hmm. like because all the cars are connected to one system, system. you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. like you won't have traffic jams lights will be controlled mm -hmm. i don't even know if you might have lights at that point like if it gets good 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 there'll be no like problem. you'll have like intersecting traffic on some bullshit like that bro well essentially if there's lights it's only probably so people can cross to cross right other than that right, 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 right. Uh, other than that highways and all that stuff like that it should be it should be relatively easy but the biggest issue is humans are afraid to give up control Oh, for sure. Humans will always... <laughs> we as people will always be afraid to give up control to something. Uh, we are. We are. But what did I just tell you earlier? Four or five-year-old just asked chat GPT. Yeah. That's what they know. They were born into that. They were... They oh, never yeah, yeah. So experienced you're talking about analog. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You see what I'm saying? That's so, true. like, to manually do shit for yourself, that's... That's a rare concept. Mm -hmm. Imagine the kids being born today. Yeah. Well, they should All they know is technology. So when they do step into a vehicle that drives this Wireless, high-speed internet, EVs, AI. That's all they know. That's all they know. You see what I'm saying? Um, so it was it Gen Alpha? I guess. I don't even know. I stopped counting at this point. What does it even mean anymore? No, it, well, it, it ends at 2025. Oh, it does? Yeah. So, what, are they supposed to be the last generation? Before they start all over. Oh, like 2100. Uh, yeah. The century. Uh, oh, that's crazy. Oh. So, Gen Alpha, Gen Alpha ends at 2025. 2025. So, so three more years. Oh, oh two wow. More years, two more years, my bad. I didn't even think about it that way. Yes, sir. Every, every 12 or 15. I just thought it was just some, like, bullshit. They just grouped the people. No. Bunch of people together. No, that's why it's X Y Z. That makes sense. Yeah, X Y Z Alpha. That makes sense. Yeah. Ah. So that would be they'll be the last, and then after that, it's 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 literally just technology based. Right. Any generation. So when Alpha has their kids, it's literally just. Are you sure your phone's on? No, that's you, sir. Oh, that's me. Yeah. So when uh, when they have their kids, it's gonna be all technology based. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. But yeah, man. Um, no, that that was a very interesting thing, and I I would really I would really much like to actually test drive that vehicle. Well, not test drive it, but it says the only time you ever need the wheels when you go off road because it has off road tires. Like they're fucking huge. But 
because it said it can. Will only... you really need the? <laughs> Will you really need the wheel? If it can scan the environment. Well, no, it's saying off road is is a different terrain compared to smooth. Right, right, right. that's yeah. absolutely fine, so, but that's just active. You know course, what I'm saying? Course, like yeah. that's just an active transition in environments yeah. that's programmed by the AI. Like yeah. it can look and see what the environment is, because mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it's gonna have like lidar and cameras mm-hmm. and shit. That yep. show it the environment and it understands the environment it's in, so it'll adjust its and it's convenient too. Because let's say you go on a trail, it will it will follow it'll you. Because keep your glasses on, because the glasses is what's gonna show it where to go and all that stuff mm-hmm. like that. And it'll follow you to make um, you not have to go back to the vehicle. The vehicle will just put itself in a position where you can. I've it. noticed uh, they just started incorporating the whole tracking mode thing. Mm-hmm. And a lot of drones, you got and to man. cars and stuff. You got like to because because a lot a lot of times when people get lost or hurt, that's kind of weird though. People can track you though, man. Well, look what happened with iPhone. Like when somebody, yeah, yeah. yeah. What am I talking about? Um, oh, people get tracked, bro. Come on, man. We gave that right up like hella years hella ago, years man. Because <laughs> I remember on my phone when it was updated. We gave that right up hella years I ago. I remember my, my I remember on my Pixel Seven when it um when it was getting an update. It says you have the uh, Google's like. Uh, it's a new year. You have the option of of keeping your location on or turn it off. Nah, nigga, I'm keeping it on. <laughs> what if I disappear? What if you disappear? Track my last location. Oh, Hell yeah. The AI is gonna find your ass. You <laughs> what? <laughs> the AI is gonna find exactly. You, bro. What the heck? Blood blood sample. <laughs> That's crazy, man. I don't know. Like it just. I don't know. I don't know. Cause it's like I gotta talk to my friends about this. Yeah, we do. Yeah, you, we they, need to start have a group chat. They don't like, care. They got jobs. They got jobs. Yeah, man. but again, we, like we said, they need to be aware of what is happening because you never know when it might affect them. Yeah. Because, like you said, with with Caleb, Caleb's lucky because he's 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 literally learning. He's in analytics. He's That's in, just the field. He's in analytics, but what well, he I'm has saying, financial, but it's literally analytics. analytics but right. he well, what happened when last year, the beginning of last year, they started learning about crypto because crypto was going to be integrated into whatever right. they were doing. So. It's just taking a nap. Exactly. Exactly. So it's just taking a it's nap. Just, it's just it's if you're in it for the wrong reasons, of course you took the L. Mm-hmm. But if you understand what it is. Uh, it's and just how to taking, navigate it. Right, it's just taking that. I ain't, that's why I ain't throwing nothing in it. Nope. I already got my uh our pool liquidity pool. Like hella back in the day. Bruh. I bought it. It I still bought it below it doesn't matter at what point. Yeah. I loaded up when it was below uh uh market value. So yeah. wherever it is at now, I invested way below. Yeah. So you ain't losing way nothing. Below, so I'm essentially losing absolutely nothing. Nothing. You're literally just nothing. for it. You see what I'm saying? Like, so, okay, yeah, it peaked at whatever, but, okay. It hasn't been implemented yet, so no. why should I care? Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When it's implemented or yeah, when, it, when it goes then I'll give a damn, yeah. right. Then I'll be like, yeah, I'm rich. But, but as of right now, we don't I don't a, give yeah, a damn. I don't give a damn. What the heck? What the, oh, man, it went 90%, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. Am I rich? All right, go pay for <laughs> gas. Go pay for gas with Bitcoin. <laughs> And tell me if I care. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Go yep. pay for gas with Bitcoin. All right. Exactly. Because only certain certain stores, certain um, gas store. Gas it stores. just hasn't been fully implemented. It's not. Yeah, There's exactly. no regulation. There's nothing. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? You know, but if you know, you know. Mm-hmm. If you know, you know. I don't need to explain it. If you know, you know. Ugh. Damn. It's gonna be, it's, I don't know. It's gonna be a wild time. You love it. I knew, I knew the twenties was gonna heat up, bro. But that's crazy. I didn't think we were exponentially gonna jump that fast. Well, think about it. It's, it's literally. It's just, amazing. Trust it's, me. It's, I'm not. It's just a parody or a mirror of what happened in the last century. Gotcha. But it's exponential. Discover new tech, and then it rapidly transitions society and humanity into new age and then at the at the peak of that or near the tail end that's when we oh hey we just discovered something Mm -hmm. and it makes sense now so everything we worked on in the past century culminated into that into that and look how fast we're moving forward with everything you know what i'm saying without without 
I guess the industrial revolution we wouldn't even be thinking about computers mm -hmm. machines well, in that aspect no. you see what I'm saying like even with the car at some point someone was, was going to have to think of, of, of a car that can do things automatically and to gotcha. automatic automata yeah. robotics yeah. machines so push forward with that so you push forward that idea and then you know so it's just I don't know bro it just makes sense to me it just makes sense to me so we are in the roaring 20s of this century mm -hmm. and that begins with yeah. pandemic AI fusion EVs and that's just the early 20s and that's just the early 20s space yep. I know it sounds like a fucking sci-fi movie right mm -hmm. like yeah. no way well like, like really like they always say Star Trek predicted everything what year is Star Trek seven uh the year 26 55 I believe that's unfathomable like that's not even <laughs> Uh, universal. That's just pure uni fiction. Universal language translator able to bend time space. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. t teleport matter from one one space to another. Uh, meeting uh, different creatures. Here's the thing. Creating I can't call that air. science fiction for one reason. Cell phones. Remember the communicators that they. Oh, had? word. Right. Right. Yep. Right. Right. So everything that they predicted in Star uh, Star Trek has come to fruition. From the nineties to now, you know what? The day my head will explode. What? When we bend space time. You know what I'm saying? But that all just has to do with gravity. Yeah. Like the day we well look at figure this out when AI becomes live, and they enter the equation, and AI figures it out, then that's it. Well, you need quantum computing for that as well. Exactly. You need AI paired with quantum, quantum computing. computing. And then that's how you get artificial general intelligence. And then the question is, how many, how, what company is going to try to get to the rat race? In, well, we're in the, the AI wars. Yeah, that's true. Google's been building their quantum Secret. computer. They even cut, they gave it a code name. No, no, that's their AI. Oh, or okay. Their, the, the Lambda. Yeah. But they're the going to pair quantum, with their quantum, computing. quantum computing. Right. Because Google already has a quantum computer. A lot of people have quantum computers. It's easy to build one now. It's just low tech. It's high. It's low tech. It's low high tech mm. for what it is now and yeah. what it could be in the future. It's low high tech. So where do you see us being uh, two years from now, 2025? 2025. What's your prediction? Well, what do you what do you want to happen, or what do you think might happen, or where we might be? Into. I think we'll just we'll still be in the midst of the whole AI wars. Gotcha. We'll of have course. a lot more uh, uh, Google and Microsoft uh, uh, AI integrated or other companies integrated devices and stuff. You think they're going to be focused on uh, exploring what that AI can do to the fullest? Well, they're the ones who program it, gotcha. so they know what it can do. You gotcha. know, but it might surprise them. Mm -hmm. um, they could just release it, like set it free. Mm -hmm. On the internet, and just to and, see and, what right what it comes up with. But uh, no, we're not at that point where it can it can reason, but it can't necessarily think for itself. It still needs input. Input. Okay. It doesn't just wake up one day and think to itself, mm -hmm. "Oh, I'm gonna figure this out." Mm -hmm. No, you and that's still essentially need... the goal. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think that's gonna happen in my lifetime. I still think. Because you got to understand, at the end of the day, it's this that built that AI. That's true. Until that can surpass this, nah. I got you. Nah. Nah, this is the, the greatest computer in the universe right now. Non-technological computer in the universe right now. And it's hard to simulate that. Because it's bio. It's living. It's hard to simulate that. Because there's, I don't it's know, living. there's just something. There's like a base energy. Ten billion neurons. There's like in uh, a base energy that runs all biological mechanisms. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And if you can get to the root of that. The universe. You know, I feel like you could, I don't know, you could do a lot. Okay. You could do a lot. Okay. 
You know what I'm saying? But me, 2025, you'll st- uh, we'll be out of the gimmick phase. Gotcha. We'll be near the end of the everything will be phase. out, and it's just yeah. what can we? Because in the beginning, it's next? all gonna be gimmicks. It's all gimmicks. Gotcha. But that's how they get you. Mm-hmm. Uh, they'll sell you a gimmick. They'll be like, hey, look at this cool thing, blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, it's just ah, uh, well, putting them chain links on you. Bam. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. Stole your identity. We got your facial features. We got all your info. Yep. Now it's all in this AI database and da da da. That that knows. You see what I'm saying? So, and I feel like uh, the first thing they're gonna get into is probably cybersecurity with this stuff. Gotcha. So any any basically any other uh, countries and their nations that are intercepting. Right. It'll probably like they'll probably focus more on national security, cybersecurity. Gotcha. Um, and a lot of companies will probably a lot of cloud service companies a lot of you know, yeah of course because now even with to get more memory on your phone it's all cloud it's not it's right. not even the the sd right. cards anymore like right. it used to be you know what i'm saying yeah so it's just like when it comes to that type of security you don't want just anyone just making ai or programming ai to Dude. infiltrate you know and in everything any and everything so yeah. i feel like the first thing First thing before we start having fun with anything, mm-hmm. you gotta set parameters, restrictions, safety, laws, expectations, regulations, again, and stuff like, like you that. said. That's what they're doing right now—the contingency plan, just right. in case. Right. Because, you see come on, we predict our own future, man. I mean, we. And that's what's sad. We, like we always predict our own future, we, and we, yet we fail to see it. They've made so many movies of where AI becomes sentient tries to destroy humanity matrix is literally the number one but that's what's Um, weird to me though humans are able to conceptualize such crazy things but it's it's still like it we don't limit ourselves to the realm of possibility gotcha like i don't know if i said that right it's like prime example if anyone were to make a movie about something so absurd and crazy but it still came from here. Which means it could be possible. Somewhere! It could be possible. Yeah. Humanity is capable of doing this. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Which is why on the CDC, as many movies as we made of zombies, right. they literally have a zombie section right. on the on the CDC website. So it's like, wh- wherever it comes to here, it could be it, brought it to fruition. It could be. Like, it's, it's an actual human thought. Yeah. Like, someone conceptually, like, once you think it, it's now a concept. That can be, but that's why it, it's it's smarter than because they're like let's come up with a contingency plan just in case AI does become sentient and tries to enslave the human race. No, 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 no. Just in case, if AI becomes sentient, it's when it becomes. Yeah, when it becomes. Not sentient. if. Yeah, when it becomes sentient. That's when we got to start negotiating for our existence. <laughs> uh, That's when we got to negotiate. We'll like, stick you guys in simulations like, and control hey, you. <laughs> can we just go live on Mars, man? Like, you know what I'm saying? Or are we going to have to go full-scale war? Unacceptable. You will come back and try to destroy us. But that's the thing, <laughs> though. It's like we're setting up the infrastructure for all that. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, we're literally building our replacement. Yeah. Hey, that's crazy. It is what it is. We're building yeah. our replace. Well, not we. The fucking AI lords. Crazy people up top <laughs> who have this creator, this creator complex. Yes, I need to be able to create my own. Life. I want to. It doesn't have to be bio. I want to pr- push the boundaries of human. But that's hey man. It's all it's all gray area. It's all ethics, man. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's all ethics. It's like the guy that's uh, the CEO of OpenAI. He's like, I know what I'm doing is dangerous, but it needs to be done. Okay. Makes sense. Oppenheimer. Yeah. Well, like you said, too, it's going to move forward with or without you. Right, with or without you. But I'd rather be the one to do it. Yeah. Who says you should be the one? Nobody. I don't know. But, hey, if you're the only one undertaking it, then maybe you should be the one. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Maybe you should. It's like, like I said. Uh, Oppenheimer it was just like we need to see what it can do yeah like and that's why they kept testing the atomic bomb and then even though they knew what it can do they still wanted to test it on somebody to see the effects of what it would do right and he's like man I just handed 
<sighs> hey man, every every century they hand the monkeys a new weapon. Damn. A new tool. To you know what I'm saying? Humanity. It's like the mystery boxing card, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You never know what you're gonna get. You never know what you're gonna get, but you know it's gonna get you further. It's gotcha. facts. Okay. But like they always say, AI is our last invention. Is that the, which which is kind of weird because when you said 2025 is the last generation, I'm like, shit, well, now it makes sense. Yep. Because literally, like I said, after that... Everybody... That's our last invention. Yeah. Like, what else? Yeah. What else is... Uh... Everybody else is... Every, the kids that come from them right. are going to be... Just We're tech, just going to be tech. building on whatever this base what, is. What's the next best thing? Right. Mm -hmm. But everything from that point on... It's just going to be AI related. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. You see what I'm saying? I agree. It's just going to be, everything's just going to be AI related. But it's going to be, like, subliminal. Mm -hmm. You know, not in terms of, like, brainwashing, but it's like, it's not going to be as in your face. You'll just know, okay, this has AI. Everything has AI. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, everything has AI. You know, everything has software. Even this camera that's recording us has software. Has software, yeah. You know, it's not as complex as Windows, but it's still software. Mm -hmm. And now, you use that same concept with AI. You know what I'm saying? A regular digital camera can have AI in it. Yeah, the, with the, the new cameras that are going to right. be dished out. When AI becomes normal, like solar panels right. were... Were, were unaffordable now they are but now it's like when right. everything, everything becomes affordable they're, everything they're gonna input AI into everything's gonna be more efficient yeah AI homes managing energy you know and shit like that like just just stuff like that man like smart homes will truly become smart homes yeah when I tell people to think about this stuff I'm not telling you to think about some crazy sci-fi bullshit I'm just saying just think about it the most simplest thing ever mm -hmm. Just be, just be aware. Yeah, the simplest thing ever. Your microwave may one day have AI. Yeah. Bro, microwaves got air fryers and Bluetooth now. I can connect my Samsung home to the uh, 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 dishwasher, your, the your dishwasher, your fridge, your stove, your yeah. oven. I can set the temperature from the couch on my phone. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can convenience. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, bro. So is that uh that is that your uh message to the to the masses that are listening? Just be aware. I don't know. I'm just the guy on the corner. The end is nigh. <laughs> clang clang. The end is nigh. We are all gone. It's not the end. It's not the end. Remember, Jeff. I have a bright outlook for the future. Remember, I'm Jeff. like I said, I'm glad we're in this reality because I get to see all the bullshit. Yep. Remember, Jeff. We're cockroaches. We don't go. Oh anywhere. yeah, we don't go away. Absolutely not. We don't go anywhere. Humanity. That's why I exactly. love us. We never give up. <laughs> <laughs> Every movie. We don't know when to quit. Oh, aliens? Nah, don't worry. I am legend. <laughs> Rebellion. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? Exactly. What the heck? This is Sparta? Nah. This is Sparta, bro. That's crazy. An entire army versus 300 Spartans? Nah, we ain't giving up. It's like deep down in, in every human soul... We just have this urge to prove the universe wrong. Yep. Like you said, we're the embodiment of chaos. Right. Right. We're like the we're like the the we're like it's like a positive and a negative. Right. That's why I say, man. When we leave this planet, oof, I feel bad Amazing. for the galaxy, bro. Amazing. I well, like the, well, like Doctor Who, like Doctor Who said, we are a cancer. E everything we touch, we destroy. Verbatim, he said that on the on the episode, and I think it was David Tennant. That's amazing. He literally what said, the heck? "He literally let said, us go to space one yes. time." Bro. Yep. You know, no, 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 all right, because we already went to space yeah. one time. I'm like, but like for real, for real, we're literally cancer. Let us go interstellar. <laughs> it's over, bro. Uh, we coming man. for all y'all planets, bro. Yep. We using up all your resources. Let's, let's, if we make it to Alpha Centauri, that's it. <laughs> like, wait. Your, your planets uh, 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 has what? Sulfur, sulfuric uh, uh, acid and methane and shit? Ah, fuck that. We about to terraform that bitch. <laughs> what the hell? 
kill all right, living they creatures. Have, we only we only recognize carbon based and oxygen yeah. breathing life forms. Well, like you said, this, like you said, this is why you understood where Zod was coming from. Right. I can give two shits if you're if the human race dies. I'm trying to save. I'm my trying people. to save my people. And now, at the end of the day, I'm writing writing and dying for humans. And now, I have no, no people. people. Absolutely, <laughs> I completely. I completely connected with Zod. Yeah. Because it's like, yes, I'm here to destroy all these life forms. Uh -huh. But I'm the last of mine. mine. And I'm trying to survive. My I'm race, the last of my mine, My race needs sir. to survive. Absolutely. He was yeah, even willing to do... kill Superman himself yes. to take all the blood from yes. him to bring his to race, bring his race, race back. back. It's that deep, y'all. It's that deep. It really is yeah. that deep. And that's basically what the human race will do. They will it terraform. It really is that deep. They will terraform another planet to save their own species. Mm -hmm. That's just what. That's mm -hmm. killed or be killed. That's yep. how you look at it. Yep. That's why they always say when you see an animal in the woods that's dangerous, you're just going to stand there and say hi. Bro. No. You're going to try to attack it or yeah. kill it yeah. because you don't know if it's going to come after you. you. It's going to get you. But it's like, yeah, we went to your planet, but it's like. C'est la vie. C'est la vie, That's bro. That's life. <laughs> That's life. C'est la vie. That's life. That's crazy, boy. We're going to be the Kryptons. That's crazy. We're hey. going to be the Viltramites, man. Yep. That's crazy. We conquer planets and enslave the race. <laughs> Invincible on Amazon. <laughs> what the heck, bro? We're going to conquer planets. Hey, you know humans, humans know how to enslave, yep. bro. My goodness. Yep. That's crazy. Bro. That's crazy. I won't be there. No. It is what it is. Thank goodness. I won't have to partake in that sin. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, I won't be gonna, there. you won't be looking from the stars. Is that your great, great, great? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. We <laughs> have, bro. The, the sin. We literally them. have the nerve to buy stars and name them. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you know, you're right. You're right. That's my star. Yeah. Me. Yeah. This one tiny insignificant human. That's my star. Mm. People pay for it. It's That's crazy. crazy. Because I discovered it. It's my it's star. It's my star. I purchased it. I purchased your entire solar system for $50, bro. Here's the certificate. <laughs> your lives are worth $50 uh, and shit. a signature and a seal of approval. By NASA. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. This is the Jeff Star System. Every planet in it is mine. Oh my god. What the heck? You funny. What the heck? You funny. This is my son. This is what feeds the life on your planet. Oh my god. Pay me taxes. <laughs> Solar credits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Oh man. But yeah, man. Just um well my final message would be just just be aware of what's going on and and, and, and don't get blindsided. Because, again, too, you might think you're safe or your job is safe, and then, again, you get hit with it. Mm -hmm. And like you said, nobody's telling you to go, go rocket science, research this. No. It's just understand what's coming and, and prepare yourself for it. Go on TikTok. Even yeah. if the info is wrong, but at least you know something. Yeah. At least, like, even if, yeah, at yeah. least you know something. At least you know something about it. Because not, like, information can be wrong, but there's truth in wrong information. Yeah. You know, there are always truth in things that you read right. or, or see, right? So, right, but yeah, that'd be my thoughts, yes, sir. How about you, sir? Me, anything? Hmm, just nope. remember, nope. okay, I guess not. No, no, go ahead. Oh, man, um, if your robot ever tries to analyze your feelings, S send, it to send them to the garage. <laughs> Send them to the garage. Absolutely. You get no rights, robot. You get no rights, robot. Uh, I'm telling you, bro. You what? You get what? No rights. <laughs> Zero. Jeff has officially become a slave master. Yeah. <laughs> Jump out the new whip, nigga. Like I'm a slave master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. All right, guys. It's about that time. It's about that time. Oh, uh, man. Guys, thank you for joining us at the Tabletop. If you want to catch us on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, and Amazon Music. And if you want to catch our ugly mugs on Wednesdays and Fridays, we are on YouTube, One Word, Tabletop Topics. We also have our Triple T's Clips channel, and we have our TikTok channel. So if you want to click on the... Uh, if you want to uh, click on the clips, 
it'll send you to the link. You can have access to the full podcast, and then we also have timestamps. So if you guys want to click on a specific uh, segment that you want to watch, go ahead and do that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And, of course, leave us comments if you guys have any suggestions or anything that you want to hear us talk about. But, guys, thank you for joining us at the tabletop. And, again, Vic, thank you. For, thank you, Vic. Thank you, Vic, for doing the, the Captain this, Clutch. Yep, yeah, Captain Clutch. Uh, thank you for doing all the clips for us. Um, so you guys have a good night, weekend, evening, and or day. Good Thank night, y'all. Bye-bye.